the pokey in the clinker. Jail. Oh, all right. Here, Laura, let me show you something. What? What? Just, 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 just what happened. Can I show you this so you can just, you can't share it, but. Whoa. This is darn. <laughs> just wait. Wow. All righty then. You wonder why his, uh, or her, um. That's distracting. <laughs> wonder why she's getting that on her. Yeah, I can see why Darwin's getting stuff now. <laughs> Thanks for sacrificing for Tom, Dar. Appreciate it. Sacrificing forever your feed. All right. There we go. Well, that was a good practice, guys. So I guess now we're gonna go, are we really? We're gonna keep, are we gonna keep going? Or are we gonna, are we gonna just take a break and then start when we get into the driveway? Hello? Um, what do they wanna do? Well, what do you wanna do? Are you gonna, are you, are you gonna do the cooking stream then? I just need to eat something, so yeah, let's... Well... What? Okay. Yeah. Sure, let's... I, uh, I'm, I'm re I you really am asking... You want to no, because I, you, if you want to take it and do it, then by all means. Great, I got it. Okay. Bonds, like I trust you. <laughs> Where's the uh, mic? Right. Oh, it's not on. Yeah, it's right here. It is on. Right. So what are what are we naming this part of the stream so I can? Oh, breakfast and schooly. There you go. Yeah, might be a little bit misleading on the schooly. Breakfast and breaks. <laughs> Breakfast and breaks. All right, I'll change that one. <laughs> if we get to the schoolie, we'll get to the schoolie. Oh, sorry, you guys are not, I'm not as. All right, let's figure this out here. Where are we gonna put you? Where are we going to put you? I was going to put you on the counter. Let's see how this will work out. Can you see me? Can you see us? Can you see everything? Turn on some lights. Clean up the counter. Probably Wednesday we'll be in the kitchen. I'm guessing we'll be in the kitchen all day on Wednesday. We'll probably start early. Laura, you probably you won't have a game stream on on Wednesday. Yeah. We have no game stream on Wednesday. It'll be a it'll be a turkey. It'll be Thanksgiving dinner prep.
because we're doing a full Thanksgiving dinner on Wednesday night, Wednesday evening. So, anyway, let me figure out all of this. We're just gonna do it. We're doing simple breakfast. It'll be, Laura, do you want a, do you want oatmeal today, or eggs, or both? Or whatever you're in the mood for, honey. I don't care. I don't think I need both. Simple, simple breakfast here. Just need to make sure we don't get hangry. We will do English muffins, eggs. today. We'll do omelets. We have a bunch of veggies. That'll be good. Let me uh, saute some veggies up. some um, veggie omelets. That sounds good. Sounds yeah, we're gonna different pan here. out real quick. What we were gonna eat. Huh? Wings for breakfast. <laughs> Wings for breakfast? You can if you want. No. No, that's okay. Yeah, we'll just do a quick veggie omelet. Ooh, that was squeaky. I like to make one huge omelet and split it with two people. Yeah, that's cool. That works really well, doesn't it? We're just gonna. And normally we would, yeah. We do. We do work Wednesday. I think we're gonna take some time on Wednesday though to prep food for Wednesday night. So oh yeah, we need to cook a whole dinner. Yeah. Before people get here. Well, I need to. I need to have the turkey in the oven at noon. So. Well, we need to discuss this turkey thing. Huh? We need to discuss this turkey thing off stream. Uh, we have we have a turkey downstairs thawing right now. I need to get another one tonight. Because we do two turkeys. We do one on Wednesday, which will be ready for dinner on Wednesday night for all of the guests that come over to bake pies. Kind of weird, what we do, we do a full dinner <clears throat> on Wednesday. We started doing that two years ago. Yeah, we always had the pre-Thanksgiving. 
but then all these people came over and they would sit and they would help and they would help us prep, prep our dinner and then not it was and then weird. no one got to eat <laughs> so it's like thank you laura and i have started cooking for them before and so really our thanksgiving dinner and with the kids and stuff the way it is now pretty much thanksgiving is wednesday yeah well that way everyone there isn't any conflict with having multiple families that you need to you know once your kids get married you've got the conflict you've got families and everybody has expectations and so we just found that it's easier to take our time on wednesday yeah and it's just less stressful for everybody so it's all good so we will um do that and it's it is super enjoyable laura laura and i love it's one of our favorite it's one of our favorite kitchen events isn't it laura i mean it's so much fun to do yeah it is so much fun to do oh thanks for so guys, all I'm doing is uh, says I'm just, I love to deep fry my turkey. I'm just um, sauteing. Yeah, some people do. Yeah, um, I'm just sauteing onion, some peppers. We have some different uh, peppers that we cut up. Pop says I do two turkeys in the smoker and two hams, one in the smoker and one in the oven. Holy moly. Yeah, that's how more. Many people, how many people are you cooking for, Pop? That's more than we do. We do 40, yeah. we do 40 to forty to 50 pounds of turkey. Yeah, we usually do two 25-pound turkeys. So. Yeah, Clab, I... I heard somebody mention that. That was a good way to defrost a turkey, is to leave it in brine for a few days. Because it, then it lowers the, you know, it lowers the temperature yeah. for the, you know what I mean? It, it, makes, it makes it thaw faster. Which is fine. And it gives it some flavor. We can do that with meat too. Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> Or any more cheese in your omelet? Um, yeah, are you making two or are you making one big one and split? Making two. Oh, yeah, uh, sure, yeah, I guess a little bit. Why not? Tomato, onion, uh, oh, yeah. green pepper, yeah. red pepper, yellow pepper. Oh, thanks for being here, Rabon. Appreciate you. Have an awesome day. Okay. Yes, please. What is the chef making? Jimmy Day, we're making some, um, he's making omelets. That's it, right? Just yeah, just like out some, uh, <clears throat> some just omelets real quick. Omelets. And then we're gonna then we're gonna go work in the in the driveway. He's he's actually gonna change his brakes. Um, yeah, my brakes failed uh, over on Wednesday. I mean, literally, I knew they were getting bad, but so he's been driving my car around. I picked him to parts on Friday. We just haven't had a time a chance to do it. Before. And, and then, and actually, 11, 12, yeah, in an hour and a half, our, our grandson's going to be here. So, and I can take him until, oh, and a half. well, it's 11, two, two and a half, yeah. 1.30. Yeah. That's two and a half. Cool. 11, oh yeah, 12, one, but yes, sorry, two and a half. Um, so if I can get the brakes done. Yeah. We won't be able to 
but yeah, we won't be able to do the baby on the screen. No. Nope. Um. Oh. There we go. Okay. Thank you, Loot. Lulu. 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 Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. All right, so let's make the omelet. So we just made a... Oh, uh, you couldn't hear. I'm deaf. <laughs> yep. Um, we're, we're doing omelets today, Jimmy. Just doing a little... Sorry, I was probably across the room. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were. She's used to having the thing on. Ooh, that's not good. It's trash. Probably fine. I'm sure that would be tasty. Season the pan. Oh, that pan, that pan is seasoned. <laughs> All right. How's everybody doing today? So we just finished um, yoga. Just finished yoga. Been streaming for a couple hours. I'm gonna do some breakfast. Go change. His breaks. It's going to be just kind of a random, yeah. We were going to work on the schoolie today, but this this break thing has to be done. And um, and then we've got some some obligations this afternoon. Yeah, I think we'll come back on tonight though. If you nobody do. if nobody else is, we'll see. I really need to work on. I I went and walked in that room with all the audio equipment, and oh, I'm like yeah. I'm like man, I really want to work on that. Well, that's so can... much fun. Do you can, do. If you want to commit to the, I mean, because as soon as you say you're going to, then you really need to, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I don't think that we'll have no, we'll, any surprise uh, visitors, do you? We'll be hanging, no, we'll just be hanging out. If you want to work in there, I mean, that would be good, actually. And then you could even look at um, what microphone so stuff you might have for Hammer, too. Why were there five eggs in there and not six? I don't, I don't know. Did you leave six? I don't know, huh? Oh. You can just make me... I can do a two-egg almond. I don't need a three. No, I just... That was weird. Who took an egg out of the bowl? I took... No, we took six to the boat, so... But we didn't eat an egg... Be, you didn't eat an egg before we... I don't know. No, I... Yeah. There, it wasn't full. Oh, it wasn't? I don't think so. Okay. I it's was fine. freaking. I was freaking out. That I'll just have two egg omelets. So, okay. Do you want uh, salt and pepper on yours? Sure. All right. On Thea Thanksgiving holiday, instead of a lot of houses and clans celebrate their founding through November. Nice. Oh, Raban, you are both very fine persons. I just saw that. Raban is so sweet, man. Okay. Yeah, Tom's made to order omelet bar. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. my It's Meyer, right? Sleazy? Isn't that what, how you say it? Meyer in Michigan. Yeah, is selling turkeys for 49 cents a pound. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, Tom's from Wisconsin, so we've seen seen the Myers when we travel up that way. I haven't I haven't seen them in Wisconsin, but I've seen them in the Midwest. Midwest. I don't know if they I know Michigan, Ohio. Definitely had them in Ohio because Maybe them when we traveled through. Yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe Ohio. Definitely Ohio, because we lived there. Yeah. That's where we used to... I was going to say, I know. They've got good produce in Delhi. It's kind of a neat store. Well, especially if they're selling turkey for 49 cents a pound. <laughs> I'd go with that. <laughs> yeah, calling it the hot sauce, it absolutely would be good with the omelet. Yeah. 
Okay, here we go. So, this will be mine. Can you guys see that? Sorry, cheese. Oh, this isn't plugged in either. Here you go. Just a veggie on what? Looks looking good though. Pull this one and make my last real quick. I need to plug in, plug this in. Oh, yeah, we are not charging and it doesn't like it. We're in the yellow. The phone was? Hey, Cappy. How's it going? <laughs> I love how Cappy enters with the pops command. Who yawns? <laughs> <laughs> how are you today, Cappy? All right, let's knock this up real quick. Hope your day started off well. Today feels like a Sunday. Relaxing, enjoying the day. Nice, yeah. I always dread, I always start dreading going back to work on Sunday, Sleazy. It's like we get halfway through Sunday and all of a sudden I can almost start feeling myself get like tense. Yeah, but it's going to be a short week and a long weekend. It's going to be a really short week. I know. Week. Yeah, it's going to be a really short week, so take it'll be good. Lots of people, too, are taking off the whole week. Yeah. So I, would, I mean, I would. Well, yeah, because, you know, we get Thursday and Friday off at work, so do you get a whole week plus the weekends um, for only... Like three days off, you know, take three and get a bunch in a row. So, yeah, I'm gonna need to ask off for Wednesday. Yeah, I'm taking. Off I wasn't away. planning. Hey, pizza, how's it going? Undamaged pizzas in the house. Get a shout out for the undamaged pizza guy, and a shout out for Cappy too. If we didn't already. Good, good. We just finished um, finished yoga for the morning. All stretched out, feeling good, feeling loose. Um, had the most annoying meditation ever. <laughs> just spent 15 minutes listening to a guided meditation with audio issues. And I was like, surely this is going to stop. <laughs> just, it didn't. And I need I'm, to, I'm really surprised they let it in. We need to listen back and make sure it wasn't us, but those first two were fine. Yeah. So I just, weird. And I've never heard that before. Well, the next time we have audio issues, uh, you we'll want, check. Do you want um, um, cheese on yours? Um, you know what? No, I don't, I don't need cheese. That looks really good, just the way it is. Her omelet is nearly perfect. If you want to see this when I flip it, I'm yeah. going to close it up. Here. This one really turned out nice. So I'm just going to... Fold it over and put it and plate it. Ooh, that looks amazing. Put the, put the tomato garnishes on top. Like See, I there's something it. really good about eggs and tomatoes. I don't know about you guys, but. All right, there you go. <laughs> Rabon's like, no cheese? Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm. I'm like. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm I'm good with there you go. just the. <laughs> All right, that was a quick, uh, quick little. See, Tom, Tom then will will eat my extra cheese. I took the extra cheese serving. <laughs> I like, uh, seriously, I like cheese on crackers, and I like cheese on pickles, like pickles and cheese together, and I like. I don't even have like cheese on burgers and stuff. I just like, it's just not, I guess it doesn't give me enough. Laura, which hot sauce do you Joy. want? I'm doing, I'm doing, um, I'm doing Louisiana. I like it more. I, I mean, I like cheese on pizza. Hmm? Which hot sauce do you want? I like Louisiana. Okay. Dixie, good morning. How are you, love? also get a shout out for Dixie Kerosene. Thank you for that. Um, Dixie did a great stream last night. 
So she did some, did a Q&A about um, being an author and, and um, a little bit about her book as well. And um, then we had some fun nitro racing, so. Yeah, that, yeah, that's like me too. And then, yeah, when I do have it, I eat enough. Yeah, I eat a lot. So. This just doesn't feel necessary on some things to me. Like, I love vegetables, so. Okay, these need to come in here. Okay, is this your coffee or mine? Um, mine's in the, uh, mine's in like my, my normal green cup. This must be mine. Nine I don't have any anyway. Hmm? Okay, let's take you guys over here. Okay. go. And Tom's over there. Eating on stream. And then we will, then we will go outside. We all need some spicy. Yes, I am going to have some spicy. Okay. Mm, I just made this. I love Louisiana hot sauce. God. Okay. So good. Huh? Holy camoli. Pickens. Yeah, Tom does. Tom makes a mean omelet. Okay. Really nice. Okay, He's got his green shirt on. <laughs> Here. There you go. All right. So you're going to explain what we're doing today. Yeah. So my brakes, um, bought my truck brand, I bought my truck brand new in 2016. This is 2016 Chevy Silverado 4x4. Heavy duty. Anyway, when we stepped on the brakes, you know, you can hear the little bit of feel, a little bit of a grinding. And I noticed that the last time we went to Florida, that probably the brakes weren't right. And I looked at them and I was like, ah, we still have time. Well, I was going to work. <clears throat> last week and I hit one of those um, you know the road the road noise thing at a crossing thing and I stepped on the brake and I was like oh that's not normal and when I was going out to my meeting on Wednesday night um, every time I stepped on them I could hear the grinding mm -hmm. and it's so it's metal on metal a lot of times on the brake pad there's a, a brake indicator saying it's a wear indicator and that starts hitting your caliper and I, so I took my finger, I can feel the calip, uh, the rotor, not the caliper, the rotor, which is the, uh, man, I'm going to have to do a whole 
thing real quick. What? Oh. My truck has disc brakes on all four, on all four wheels. Um, and the way it works is when you step on the brake, there's a caliper which pushes two brake pads against a plate. And when you step on it, we have, it breaks. Those brake pads are made out of a uh, porous material, brake pad material. And as they wear, um, there's rivets in there. And that brake pad will eventually be metal on metal. And then it gouges that, uh, that disc. So um, I'm going to replace those discs on front and back and the brake pads. Just do it right. And so I've not done it on this truck yet. So hopefully I don't run into any major issues. But I have the tools to do it. This lack of cheese thing is hurting my heart. T said. No, I have plenty of cheese. <laughs> Jimmy Jam, that's rednecks ketchup. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and the matching hat. Looking handsome, Tom. I mean, you are both happily married, so this doesn't count. <laughs> what, what doesn't count, Ravon? <laughs> oh, Ravon said no calipers here. I'm going to see your point. No rotors. Shana said no rotors? Question mark. No, rotors. Rotors and brake pads. The calipers should be fine. I don't have any indication that the calipers are bad. Well, how did it go from you not knowing to being metal on metal, though? I heard it when we went to Florida last time. Mm. I've, I've heard it. I mean, okay. it's just, you have to spend the same money regardless. I don't ever change brakes with, without doing the... We won't need to touch them for six more years. Wow. Okay. It's really good omelet, even without cheese. <laughs> Maybe five. And don't worry, I'll make up for it in other dishes with the lack Shana, of cheese. They, yeah. they never squeak. That's what was weird. Typically, they'll have that that wear indicator, you'll hear that squeak. And it's possible we just didn't hear them because it's a big truck. Yeah. Yeah, she said chat never heard it. Nope. And they would normally hear stuff like that, too. And I've been pulling trailers and everything with it, and that's when I really noticed it. Best way is to imagine a bike tire, someone having the brakes against the rim of the wheel. There you go. It's the same principle for disc brakes, kind of. That, that is collab. perfect collab. I mean, we can see that you both love the special... <laughs> This, yeah, the special sauce. Oh, yeah. Or at least when backing up. So you're saying your truck is too, your too, truck is too big to moan? Squealing brakes are just moaning tires. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shayna, I think, I think I probably heard it. I think we were beyond hearing it. Probably should have been changed a year ago. Let's be honest. <laughs> Did you notice an issue stopping? On any of our trips? No. No. Yeah, I love the spicy man. Yep, we'll get her done. That's all we can do. We'll get her done before the the grandson comes over with his uh, ear infection. <laughs> you have an ear infection? Poor little shit. Did they say that he did? Yeah. And she goes, are you still okay watching him? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it says, uh, I, have, I have another thing I'm going to as well. So we'll get, I'll get a chance to you get an hour with be him. with him for about an hour. I don't, yeah. If we do stream tonight, it probably won't be you. That I was just thinking about that. I'll, I'll be fine. It'll be. Yeah. I mean, so 
I have an, um, I'll share it. That's fine. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not feeling hugely emotional about it right okay. yet. But I don't, hopefully you're not. Hopefully so, not. so today, today's a big deal. Actually, I'm going to, um, after the first of the year, I don't know for those of you who may not know, but my two grandchildren were, um, were in the Covenant School during the shooting that happened at that school um, that happened on March. And so we've been working through, um, the whole family's been working through that. Um, the kids have been going to um, a different, like another, another church opened their doors and they have not been back in the building. Um, and they have changed the entire building so many things will be different so that when the kids return to school, um, return to the building where the shooting happened um, in January, um, it won't look the same. And that's hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll keep from, you know, re-traumatizing them. Um, but today we're actually going to go tour um, the school. Um, the parents and family get a chance. The kids won't be going, obviously, um, but it's really an opportunity for the parents and grandparents to um, to go see the site um, and just become, I think, a little more confident that when the kids do return in January, that kind of understanding and knowing you know, that it's going to be okay. Yeah, yeah it's it's okay. Yeah. You know, when something horrible like that happens in a place, it's, um, yeah. So I've been working my way up. We've known about, you know, this visit for the past week or so. Um, I've been working my way up to trying to be confident that I'll be able to just do it, you yeah. know? Just accept it. Wow. Okay, I didn't feel emotional before I started talking. Until <laughs> she looked at until she looked at me. Until <laughs> I looked at Tom. <laughs> ah. So It's about the kids and the and the parents. Yeah. We're just here. We're just here oh, to support. Thank you, Dixie. Yeah. And it's Thanksgiving week, and we have a lot to be grateful for. Lots of gratitude today. Yep. So. Absolutely. Anyway. Oh, Thanks, you guys. So, um, yeah, that's going to happen this afternoon. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go tour it. Um, I, I do have some emotions around it, I guess, because I just felt them. Um, yeah, yeah, Raban, we, I ate all of that. Yeah, I'll, you know, I'll do what I do best and divert the conversation to something <laughs> totally not related to emotions. So, hey, love you guys. You're amazing. Um, I'm going to find my coffee. We're going to make another pot of coffee. Yeah, we may. We're going to, I think we probably will. I'm going to go ahead and commit. I will probably do. <laughs> I will commit. I will probably I will, I will absolutely, uh, after we finish this, this breaks and I, I spend time with the family, I, I'm going to come back on and do a Papa Tom's room tonight. Cool. All right. I need to knock one out of the Papa Tom and it's going to be a true variety stream. I have an idea that is going to be cool. So, uh, I will go live. My goal will be to go come back live after we're done. My, my goal will be to come back live around 630 and there's a reason for that. Okay. So. And I'll let you know in Discord if I and Lala's. I don't have my own. I don't really have my own Discord, but I'll update you in Lala's Discord. Yeah. He is a good man, Raban. Yep. He's a very good man. It is Dixie. It is a rooster, and if you can't read it, it says the original yard pimp. <laughs> I love this style hat. This this is a Richardson uh, two one two. Um, Where'd you you got that at? Um, this is a yeah. This, you got that at the Oyster Festival. I got this at Oyster we Fest, there. and I love it. It is a 
uh, Richardson Style 112. It is a trucker's cap, but it's not the high one. It's the medium size one, and it's a snapback, and it is quality. Um, what I like about this style hat is this leather patch. So my goal is at my day job, I want to have um, I want to have the patch embroidered. Our our logo is a lightning bolt, and it has been for 37 years. And I want to have hats made with the lightning bolt, um, but I want to do it with a um, brand. I want to have branded, not not printed. And then for uh, Carpe Diem, I want to have hats made that are um, laser etched, not printed. These are printed. I want to have it laser etched. So yeah. Anyway, working. So Bon Repairs Dam. Dam Lure. Sorry, Bon. I don't know that word. Trucks. I think that is that Dodge. Let us know, though. I just can't read that one word. Daimler. Chrysler. Yeah. Oh, Chrysler. Yeah, yeah. Chrysler. It's it's here. Are you you? I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rabon. Are you? Are you in the U.S.? Well, and Chrysler. Yeah, it could be a whole. Yeah, bunch of reasons why people. Oh, why are you guys? Why are you guys timing out? Tom has. Yep. Why are they timing out? What's going on with the? What? It's. What? Oh, I see why. Thank Dixie. you for the follow. I see why. Go on. Thank you, you guys are funny. You are so funny. Dixie yeah, Chrysler Chase. trucks. Yeah, Tom's Tom's got and his is Chevy. Oh, Chevy. Sorry, oh, different. Yeah. Starts with a C. That's all I know. It's not a, yeah, it's not a Chrysler. And listen, you eat your. Everybody likes their truck or their vehicle. Oh, absolutely. I don't have. You know what? Here's the deal with. Uh, here's the deal. Although Tom is pretty much of a. So of a Chevy person. I needed you guys to see that I was wearing the official green work shirt, but we're going to put on a... We're going to put on a... Uh, work sweatshirt here. I still like you joining me in the corner, even if you're grumpy. <laughs> there we go. Cause you gotta, Dixie is like still joining gotta, Dixie with their grumpy self. Because Shana would say that you need to look good on stream, so there we go. Might as well put on a sweater. I'm a total car girl. I'm raised a racer. Me fan. Tom is right. Chevy all the way. <laughs> Rafon said Chevy. But no, it's Italian. Ah, Dixie's got the Dixie's got the mom the mom van. I love it. Can see her rolling out at school. I currently have a 2011 town and country. Here's Dixie getting out of her car. Here's Dixie getting out of her car. She drives in, pops that seatbelt off, and she does this when she steps out. She just goes like this. She steps out and she goes like this. Nobody's <laughs> fucking with my kids. <laughs> now, much more graceful and, and, you know. You see me rolling. Shana says, you're beautiful, Tom. Got me thinking every time I go on camera, Sheena. Norbon says, sure is. That's cute. I don't get out of the car. I don't get I don't get out of the car at schools anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Scania do the does the best trucks. Right. Oh, Freightliner. I'll be darned. I did not know that, Rabon. Oh, big, big trucks. That must be their, um, like their commercial truck line, right? I don't know about you guys, but I got, I got work shoes and I got. Just sit here and listen to my audio book, like a truly an old, old stalker mom. <laughs> Oh, your hus husband said they are good. They're on the truck side of Saab. 
Oh my god, I know. Okay. Yeah, I did I did as well, Shayna. I'm mean, like, what, the biggest waste of time. My kids rode the school bus, and they got home way earlier than the kids in the pickup line. Because <laughs> they put the kids on the bus first. So they actually got home faster than if I would have waited in line for them. And it was more fun. I would bribe Aaron with a donut to walk from the gas station. <laughs> Oh, Saab is Chinese now, but better not tell him. <laughs> drive about 60 miles a week, taking my kids to and from school. Jeez. Who does that? Dixie. 60 miles a week. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Five each way. Five miles each way. That's, yeah. that's a good bit. We when were, you think about it, that's I, a good bit of when I grew up, fuel. We were, when I grew up, we were... Uh, my elementary school was 10 miles, and my high school was 11 miles. We drove, when we lived in Virginia, I drove, I got was on a school bus for an hour. Yeah, we were on that, at least 45 minutes to an hour, yeah. Okay. So, I, there's a couple of things that I have to do in prep for this. Yeah, 11 miles, mm-hmm. There's a couple of things I have to do in prep for this. I know you want to change, right? Well, I mean, I don't, I'm not leaving until 2.15. Okay. Well, I need to, um, I need to grab, I need to go pro some of this stuff. But we're, okay. yeah, and we, we're going to need to end the stream probably at about 1.15. So. We'll shoot for, we'll just, we'll just start wrapping up at 1. Because the grandkid, yeah, comes at 1.30. We'll start wrapping so. up at 1. That gives us a little bit over an hour. Yeah. yeah. We got to get going, yeah. Okay. All right, find my keys. I mean, and I can and I can take him while you do whatever, but well, as long as I can get these finished, that's gonna be tough. But we'll get close. Shoes. We use work glasses. I just need to find my keys. Interesting. And I'm 42 years old. If I would run, if I would run 11 miles, my heart would ache. <laughs> oh no, he he didn't walk. He didn't do. He didn't walk 11 miles. He just he took a bus. Oh no no no! I was on a bus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh please don't. Hey Solar. No, he's doing them on his truck. Shana said a 2016. Yep. Solar said, "Oh, thanks for the thanks for the follow, Avocad Avocadorable. CJ, what's up, dude? Hi, welcome in. It's been a hot minute. Ah, CJ." What are you doing, love? 100 party. All right, that gets you. Hold on, CJ. You got yourself some. You got yourself some push-ups. How many did you? It just did 600 bitties. Oh my gosh! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Yay! Thank you, CJ. Appreciate you, love. She does great push-ups. That was really great. Thank you. Welcome in. It's been a hot minute. How have you been? What have you been up to? Hope everything's well. It's just like practice. Dixie likes your sweater. Thanks. Tom. Thank you. 
And thank you, Avocado, for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, Solar said you're doing your own breaks is so fun. It's a good weekend project. Yeah. So. You can save a lot of money. It, was, it, we, it wasn't so planned. Money. It wasn't planned, yeah. Um, but he's been driving my car all week because his brakes are metal on metal. So I need my car back next week. Yeah, actually, you're right, Ravon. That's they they teach you in the Air Force for sure. <laughs> Thanks, Solar. Good. I'm glad everything is going well for you, and happy Thanksgiving week. <laughs> Dixie, yeah, I got right out of bed. My hair is a hot mess, but you are amazingly kind and sweet. So, <laughs> dude, honor that she's a grandma. <laughs> Insane. Um, I was I was a swimmer. Um, and not in college. Right I actually had kids when I was like 21. So I joined the military right out of high school and then, um, had my son and, um, got my money for college. And so I was already a mom when I went to college. Um, I actually didn't graduate and then we kept moving around. So I didn't graduate until I was older, but I did finish. Um, but yeah, I did play sports. Um, in high school, I was a swimmer from the time I was like four up until I was about almost 17. Um, I was really good at swimming. I also did gymnastics um, in high school. So, yeah. But, but Ravon is right. We actually, um, I weren't push-ups were a thing in the military. So that was, and I was, I was in a mostly male dominated field. And so, um, the push-up thing, you know, part of a flight crew and some of our training had to do with just physical training and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> Shana, she's got a nice booty too. <laughs> Uh, yes, I was a swimmer. Yep. Instead of... Oh, you need to stop talking about yourself like that, Dixie, because I guarantee you that is not what you look like. I have seen pictures of you. <laughs> uh, you are crazy, girl. <laughs> Tampons, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so I did teach the boys a thing or two about the value of a tampon in a survival situation <laughs> for fire starting. There's a whole story around that. <laughs> but, uh, but no, I'm grateful. Um, and I'll tell you, push-ups are just about practice. That's all it is. It's like anything else. Start with one. Start with one. Start with one on your knees. And then do two on your knees and three on your knees, up to five from your knees with your back straight. And then try one not on your knees. And just start there. And eventually, everybody can get up to 100 push-ups. You can. Now, I don't do 100 without stopping. That is not what I do. So... <laughs> I can do a lot of my knees. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I saw what you did there. <laughs> well, I'm a, I'm a German grunt, Panzer Grenadier, and it is our most to make fun of the, it's in her DNA. <laughs> you can't do anything else. <laughs> Absolutely. I get it. And, you know, I mean, we call ourselves wing nuts, so... It's fine. <laughs> I have a healthy respect for the fact that um, the Air Force is known as being the easiest branch of the service. Um, 
So, yes. Once my hips have been, hips have to support my planked weight, it's a different, but on my knees, I'm a boss. Yeah. Yep. Well, you had, yeah, surgeries and all the things, Dixie, so. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Welcome to my world, Dixie. The after the fact. Oh. <laughs> We call yourself wood nuts. <laughs> um, I was part of an air crew solar. Um, I operated atmospheric research equipment in a weather plane. And we, we actually um, monitored nuclear test ban treaties. So um, we flew through radioactive debris and collected samples after nuclear tests. Is Tom responsible for the handles on the cupboard above the fridge? Oh. Um, yes. But these were really, really cheapo. These are all going to be replaced as well. These were like Home Depot garage cabinets. We just put them in ages ago because we needed more pantry space for all of our teenage children. <laughs> so, yeah, it's those are sucky. We did put the fancy hardware on the really shoddy cabinets. <laughs> now I can't unsee it. <clears throat> what? Is it because they're supposed to be like Is it because they're supposed to go the other way? Oh, this one's supposed to go that way? I don't know. Oh, because of the wood gap? What are we looking at? I don't know. <coughs> oh, yeah. No, and, and that is literally because of the, um, their, like I said, their garage. Oh, the, the cabinets? Yeah. Oh yeah, they were. They they they're temporary. like for a workshop or something. They're like temporary cabinets, <laughs> and they don't go with those over there on the side. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Oh, if you looked at most of the cabinets in this kitchen, like nothing matches. Yeah. Yeah, everything is yeah. Nothing matches here. We have to redo this whole thing before we can rent it. I'm going to redo the kitchen. Yes, I was in danger close. So you're like a Marvel hero now from the radiation. <laughs> we did have radiation badges and um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I got a little bit here and there. <laughs> The artillery will need this data. Can't unsee. No, none of the others do. It's all good. I stuck a post-it note over that part of my screen where they are. <laughs> Just talking about the cabinets. <laughs> the gap between the cabinets. They can't. They're like, why? None of the other ones do. Why? What, do are, the, what are we looking at? The gap between the wood. Like, because they're, I told oh. them, because they're like garage cabinets. Yeah. These don't match those. Oh, the cabinets don't even match, guys. No. <laughs> they don't even match. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't help. It doesn't help that we never painted... The, the sides, so it really stands out. Oh, yeah. No, we didn't. <laughs> Let's just show them all the janky things. Oh, shit, guys. Listen. Let's the, not. Let's not show them all the janky yeah. things, okay? We have, to we have to replace ceilings and everything else here. We've got a lot of work to do in the next five months. Well, on that note, I second. <laughs> okay, they want to go outside now. Yeah, the tile countertops kill me. Yeah, you should try having them be part of your life. <laughs> I 
Does the carpet match the drapes? No. We don't have drapes and we don't have carpet. <laughs> Oh, you guys are funny. All right. So, here, we'll turn you away from there. Here we go. We'll be going outside in a minute. Is it better? <laughs> now I wonder what I said this time. <laughs> when you all get quiet, it's scary. Okay. So we need we need legs on this tripod. So can take you outside. Okay. <laughs> Winter wall tent content. <laughs> Not for us, thank you. Yeah, it's almost 60 degrees here. It's gonna be cake outside. <laughs> hey, Barrican, how's it going? Good to have you here. <laughs> Speaking of winter wall tank content, <laughs> have they started streaming today? It is amazing. Amazing what they are doing out there. And we are enjoying my, you know, 59 degree weather or whatever it is here. Let's see what. Tom should get the kids doing the breaks and watch football instead. <laughs> Well, he's, he's just, I think he's got an ear infection or something. He'll be fine. This, he is like 16, 16 months old and he is like the chillest little guy. He's just, he isn't a, he isn't ever a problem. He is just so chill. But once he, yeah, once he gets here, we'll probably bring him inside. Although he loves being outside. So, but we can't have him on stream. Yeah, it is, it is snippy today, and we do have a bit of breeze. I can feel it coming in the door. Josh doesn't get out, before, get out of bed before 3. Well, based on how late they stay up, I can't tell you how many nights I've gone to sleep with, you know, Josh in the background, and I'm like, when do these people sleep, man? <laughs> We get a shout out for the 30 show. So if you guys haven't followed the 30 show, which I think most folks in here probably already have, um, they are doing amazing things. Um, they are in this, it's supposed to snow today, I guess. So in this snowy place, there's a family of four, he and Bree, and then their two daughters. Um, and they will spend the entire winter camping outside in a wall tent in some of the snowiest places in 
in um, the U.S. So, yeah, it's pretty crazy. So anyway, if you haven't followed him, you need to go follow The 30 Show. It is definitely entertainment. And, and all of the, I would never in a million years do that. But I've actually also really learned some cool stuff. Because um, he builds things. He does what I guess they call bushcraft. Which um, I've learned, I've definitely learned some things. They've done some really cool like extensions over the fire and hung things so that they can cook and whatever. It's really cool. Just lots to learn there. It's raining here and likely snowing higher. Temps to plummet. I hate it when it says plummet. Yeah. Bree's an awesome cook, too. I bet they are crazy. Yeah, and their dog bear is amazing. So. All right. Ooh. What's going on? Huh? What's going on? I am getting stuff ready out there. Okay. I had to move cars around. I emptied your car. Put all that stuff in the boat. It's all put away. Oh, okay. And um, are you going to... I'm going to go change, so... Are you going to take them outside? And get him set up? I need like two more minutes. Okay. Just, just yeah, I can bring him. I got him. Okay. Let's go. Let's All right, guys. It. I'm going to change. <clears throat> I just need the mic. And Tom is going to... Here. Tom's going to take you outside. Make your life extraordinary. Okay. Thank you, Clab. All right. <laughs> All right. Here. I'll put this mic on here so you won't forget it. She can cook. All right, I am going to I'm gonna go get dressed. Put some jeans on. All right. All right, I don't even need jeans. I probably just need to. All right, you guys, say goodbye to Lella. Bye. We'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, I wonder where my phone is. Be kind to Tom. I wonder where my phone is, guys. No, I got it. Okay. I was trying to clean up the um, all the miscellaneous stuff that we had laying around while I was doing this. Just got crap stuck I think everywhere. That it's Tom's fault. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my truck around and back it in. I'm gonna back my truck in because I'm gonna do the. I need to make space here. The bus is kind of taking up some space. So. Just bear with me. Shit, you know, we're gonna do a freight job. I don't know. So I need to make enough space to do it. These are all the brake. I'll go through all this stuff here in a second. <clears throat> I also need to grab my um, my GoPro and get some get some B-roll. Oh, here's my phone.
Okay. I'm back in here. I'll put you guys in front. So just stay right there. I'm not, I'm not going to hit you. Okay, so I need to have room on each side. And I might need to move the bus. <clears throat> Guys, I might have to move the bus. Yeah, I know. I just did a seven point turn right so i want to be as level as i can because i'm going to jack up i'm, gonna, I'm just going to do one wheel at a time i usually would like to do both front at one time i don't know if i can get enough room uh i know what i'm going to do I know what I'm going to do. I can pull all the way up to here. I can pull all the way up to here. I'm going to flip around again. I wanted this level as I can. It's not level there. So I'm going to... I'm going to flip a, flip a B real quick. And... Now the plus side of this is I'm getting the driveway cleaned up, so that's good. Okay, how y'all doing? Let me play a, let me play a noise and see if uh, we have anything that's see if it's working. Cool. That gives me enough room on each side. I just need a few I just need a few feet on each side. I just feel much much better if it's um. It's a little bit more, a little bit more flat. 
So, okay. Let me flip again. Just go off the slide. You guys listen close when I pull in forward. Listen close, you'll hear the brakes. Okay, here we go. There we go. I have plenty of room here. Plenty of room over here. You guys hear those uh you guys hear those brakes grind or no? Chad has been really quiet. They've been really good. <laughs> it's been really good. Yeah. Quiet. You raise children since when does quiet equal good? Okay. <laughs> Alright guys. What have we got going on here? Hi, chat. Hmm. Okay. Let me assist here a little bit. I know we're going to be doing that. this guys <laughs> you guys remember we had to buy this when we uh, had a uh, had changed the trailer tires in the parking lot of tractor supply in Dalton Georgia oh yeah because it was full we had to yeah I don't think we weren't filming then were we huh we weren't filming then oh we weren't I we weren't so. oh that was a fun trip. We uh we had to buy that jack. We had dropped my mom off. Yeah. I was riding in the back. I don't think we we didn't weren't filming then. <laughs> Darren says jack off. <laughs> Clab wants to know if you've read the manual for that thing yet, Tom. <laughs> for what thing? I guess this thing. For this? For the truck? Or for that? I don't know. The manual for what, Clem? For changing the brakes? 
I don't know. No. I haven't had time. Fantasy. <laughs> A fantasy coming in with the great advice. Holding on to that piece of advice. <laughs> Clab. Insert rod and pump. <laughs> and then goes, good morning. <laughs> good morning. How you doing, fantasy? Welcome in. <laughs> so guys, I'm so happy. I'm so happy we bought this for the um we bought this to to remove the uh the seats and it didn't work, but I get to use it to remove the tire lugs. So somebody's gonna ask me why am I loosening the lugs before I jack it up? I'm afraid the wheel's gonna fall off. No, I just need to get them, just knock them loose. Tighten, lefty loosey. Seriously. What? I'm gonna have to use a breaker bar. Thank you, Dixie. So this is I bought this, uh, we went to a service um, on Friday. Uh, for the kids and to thank the church where they are housing the Covenant students. And so I bought this. It's, I thought it would be good to wear today. And I'm wearing my red shirt because their colors are black and red. So I'm wearing black and red. School colors, I'm sporting. But thank you. It is, it's very comfy. This is really nice. So. So guys, you're going to see... Try it. You know what? You're just going to see my butt. I don't really care. I'm just going to see it. Sorry. You're not, you're not sporting anything. I got you. So I can't, I'm not, I can't, um, they're, I'm too tight, so I have to use my foot and my hand. Yeah, Darren said he's breaking out the Jesus wrench. <laughs> But I have to use my... Are they all the same? <laughs> oh my god, I'm glad I didn't read that out loud. Uh, Solar said, if you turn the wheels one direction, it gives you better access to the bolts. Yeah, it does. And Hunt said, with impact rents, I'd say loosening before jacking is unnecessary. Yeah, I couldn't get it. Wouldn't, wouldn't do it. It's not a strong... out the Jesus wrench. Not a strong enough... <laughs> not a strong enough wrench. Hunt. Where's my jack point on this damn thing? <laughs> Dixie says I look like a fluffling. <laughs> oh, hey. Sorry, I meant to say good morning, fluffling. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is nice. I'm probably going to get too hot, but it, I am. it's cozy. I'm sweating. I, I got this one on Friday at the school, so it's thicker actually. The other side has like both sides have the fluffy stuff on it. The other one I have that's like this, um, the fluffy stuff's on the outside and then the inside, so it's not as heavy. Uh, this one's nice though, but I wanted to support the school logo and stuff.
Shana said, I know about Jesus handle, but not wrench. <laughs> um, T said, I have y'all muted at the moment, but I just saw the thing at the tire stopping the truck from rolling backwards. Yeah. Is on this side of the hill. Shouldn't it be on the other side, side of the I hill? I have one on each side. He has one on each side. Both sides. Yes, T. Thanks for checking, though. Yeah, when the passenger has to hang on. Yeah, the oh shit bar. <laughs> We call, call those oh Jesus handles here. Usually you hold on to them white knuckles while being with a passenger with someone who can't drive. <laughs> Get all this. Fuck me, fuck. Uh oh. Fuck. Piss poor fucking design. Stupid. Never well, seen. Is there. Like there's a a place for a, maybe a piece that's missing under here. Is there a screw that holds it? Yeah. Yep. Yes, that's what it is. It wasn't made by Milwaukee. It might be red, but it wasn't made by Milwaukee. are and learning all the no-no words with Papa T. Yep. My daughter might come back and my grandson might learn some new words. We won't, uh, we won't do that. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll not swear. <clears throat> so I need to take the, um, the cap off of the brake fluid. Because it's going to expand when I push the plunger back in to the brake plunger. If you look at this. Here, do you want me to? It's saying brake fluid is at minimum, but that's not, it's really not at minimum. It's in the cylinder. Hold on a minute. I'll take you around to show you this. It's in the cylinder. Right here is brake fluid reservoir. And it's right there should be between those two marks, but that's because the plunger, because the brakes are worn, there's more fluid in the plunger. And so it's really not, I've added fluid before and then I put new brakes on and it overflows. So I'm not gonna add any fluid because it's gonna come up to about right there when we're done. Uh. So. Yep, Solar said low brake fluid equals worn out pads. Interesting. See, there's a lot to be learned from these um, these unanticipated DIY streams, <laughs> right? questions here in a second what I'm, what I'm doing here always missing a screw can't ever have enough screws while wow, Tom was mad glad he got fed the same thing in Ireland Jesus features a lot of things is anyone else wondering how high Lala has to reach to hold us up here to see this <laughs> Pretty high. <laughs> All right. Good way to check when you're buying a used car. Oh, that's that's cool. Good point, Solar. Good way to check when you're buying a used car. Low fluid equals needs new brakes. Cool. Like a quick way to check. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Shana's like, I just pay the dealer. I never would have, I wouldn't have put all that brake fluid level together, so I think that's really helpful information. Well, this is my first time ever doing this, so. <laughs> it's not. 
It's but, this first time on this truck. Hey, Clab, I have not read the instructions. I have not read the manual. Hunt wants to know, do you always do your own brakes? Because wanting certain quality parts, too expensive? They are expensive, but um, I bought the best. So here we go. Here's what you got to look at. And let me do a safety thing, okay? But yes, he, he, he normally does his own brakes. I think this thing was under warranty, and he was taking it to Carl Black to have it done. Well, the brakes aren't under warranty, though. Right, but but didn't you have them changed at Carl Black? Brakes? Yeah. Never. Oh. First time. So, yeah, then, then yes, he's always done his own brakes. We haven't. I don't know if you changed them on mine before. On your, on your on uh, the BMW? BMW. No, but I will because that'll be a two thousand dollar job probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, labor's more expensive than part solar says. Yeah. Dixie says I bring John and he does the things to keep me from getting screwed over by the dealership. Yep. And shops and and solar said and shops also do a poor job. So guys, what we're gonna do here. Is that a safety? That's just a, I do not like the thought of that thing dropping on me. So we're going to. Shana said, yeah, I send a cliff. I get so raging mad. I usually know a lot but I ne but never get treated so oh man I got stories on that China China India make great brake parts these days so it looks like it's just um, two bolts is that good news yeah. okay well I was using data pad to attempt to hack into the Vanguard security systems oh this is gonna be good Dixie said, I like to look cute on or in cars, but that's about all I know about them. <laughs> Shana said, I've been using the same dealer for almost 25 years. They've been great. It's really awesome when you, when you, um, you know what I mean? Just come, come up with a relationship, especially with cars. I, just, I think that you can trust. I just paid attention when my dad was working on them. Yeah. Well, yeah, and Tom Tom has a family of mechanics, so he learned so much of this stuff young. And Tom also did, didn't you do this stuff on semi-trucks? Okay, yeah, I, I worked on semis for when I was in high school. They gave me a job when I was 16 to 18 and let me brakes, tires, oil changes, all the servicing I did every weekend, Saturday and Sunday, would do up to 10 10 oil changes a weekend, change tires, and nobody was there. They left me alone. Can you imagine that? This I thing? know. <laughs> what, like, what were they flipping thinking? I lost so many tire gauges. I would get yelled at. I lost so many of them. <laughs> and that's the thing that they got me for, with tire gauges. Not... Okay, so let's... I need... They can, they can see is everything. Darren, so... Is Darren on? Yeah. Hey, Darren, is this... Should I be grabbing a GoPro video on this and talking about this is this a value to the i know the answer i'll be right back i know what darren's gonna say <laughs> oh very good yes you anticipated the answer you were you just got yes you should <laughs> see i know <laughs> you haven't so trained dar that's so great <laughs> Yeah, YouTube loves this sort of stuff. <laughs> Darren, I, I will, you got to give Darren credit. He has, she has worked extremely hard with Tom. And Tom is so appreciates her feedback. And I mean, there's just, there's just such, yeah. Darren can say stuff to Tom that I'm never going to get away with. So, <laughs> And he listens to her, so, yeah. Well. <laughs> it's 
So I'm just gonna. Papa Tom, I will just have you tried through. turning it off and back on again? What? What was that? Wait a second. Who said that? That was like a fantasy thing. <laughs> Did it come up? What was that? <laughs> I totally missed it. Hold on. The uh, speaker's not on. Now it is. There it is. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, fantasy. I totally missed that. Wait, I found how I get it off. Damn it. Okay. All right, Doc. All right, Doc. We will, we will lock this in place. Okay. Turn this around. All right. Oh, Papa Tom, have you tried turning? There you go. I think, I think that came through there, didn't it? Did you try turning? Have you tried turning it off and back on again? <laughs> what? I don't know. Match replies. Yes, it's coming along. Hi, Sweden official. This looks so American. <laughs> it is. It's because it is. Welcome. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> there we go. That's much better. That's much better. Tom did not laugh. Way late. Sorry. <laughs> what is going on? Hero! I'm here for the dad jokes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Tom. All right, we're changing um, changing brakes on a 2016 Chevy Silverado 4x4, <laughs> and what we have is a brake indicator noise, and the rotors are pretty smooth but pitted. But we're going to take that caliper off and um, replace the pads, which are behind here. It actually looks like there's a little bit of left on them, but we will update in a second. Okay. Why did the what? <laughs> what? Oh, <no. laughs> All right, Why did the dad go to the dentist? No. Why did the... Um, why did the tree go to the dentist? Um, because it needed a root canal. Yes. Very good. God. You would have thought that was an actual quiz. Okay, so I think we're using American wrenches here. Uh, it is a, uh, it is a, um, Chevy, but it doesn't mean that the, um, 